All right, up here at the top left, he has a GSL silver medal. Hoping to get into Kodas to get even farther. FXO Lino. There he is. Very jolly kid. And down here at the bottom right, he has a silver medal in the GSL. He's trying to get into Code S to get Inca. even farther. Yep. Both these guys passed almost champions, although Linux was closer closer. <laughs> closer than Inca was. Inca kind of got trounced by Nesty in those finals. Did he get trounced by Nesty or did he trounce himself, though? That's the question. <laughs> that was pretty bad. I think it was a combination of both. Uh, going. Speaking of Dark Templar, yeah, Inca just like went Dark Templar every time, and Nesty was like, "Well, I prepared for that. Sorry." Oh uh, man, Linok uh, is going cast first. Yeah, Inca, Inca's, uh, you know, his play in the finals was was like a D Dark Templar in that you couldn't really see. <laughs> You couldn't really see it. You were like, <laughs> "All right, I see." You like kind of saw like the outline. You saw a shimmer you of a strategy. You saw the shimmer of the idea there. You were like, "Ah," but it just never really got fleshed out. You couldn't quite see it. And before you knew it, uh, it snuck up on you, and the finals weren't that enjoyable for you. <laughs> you were like, "Ah, he, he got me." <laughs> That's pretty much what happened. And uh, well, you gotta hand it to Inca, though. You know, he has a strategy in mind, and he's gonna do it. Yeah. By golly, no matter if Nesty just has a builder that shuts it down completely and has demonstrated it two games in a row, that's not going to stop Inca from doing what he wants. That's not going to stop him, man. He, he will do what he wants. <laughs> Scouts gas oh, first, wow. early way, pool. It's not going to stop him from taking his ramp. By the way, Linok is still mining with all three oh. drones, and the probe has oh. left completely, so linok has got some shenanigans uh, planned of his own. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Wolf? I am thinking one of two things, yeah. and the Bane Nest was the one that was chosen instead of That's Roach. what I was thinking. It could have been Roach as well, you're right. Um, but I was, I was, I just felt it. I felt, I felt a Baneling vibe coming from the booth behind me. <laughs> I, I actually expected to be Banelings as well. This map is not as good for Roach because on this map you generally have to use a pile on this part of the wall. And for that reason, you can get in if you just break that one pile on. And it, with yeah. roaches, you have to attack up the ramp. It's just more difficult. Oh, oh wow, point. the probe. Oh. He's not actually going to see the Baneling Nest. Oh, no, he's running. Wait, wait, where's he going to go? He's, like, not going to see either. Oh. What? He doesn't check for the hatchery or the Baneling Nest. Oh, no, he's no, going to check. Wait. He's going around the side. He's trying oh, to go. Oh, what? He's going, on the, he's going off the creep, but no. Oh, that was terrible! Oh. That was so embarrassing! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Well, he was oh trying to, what he was doing god. is he was trying to stay off the creep so the Zerglings would have a harder time catching the probe, so he could try and see more. But he actually just didn't. I guess he should have just mineral walked. What? Oh, uh, <laughs> what? I like. I cannot believe it. If he wins this game, I'll be like, I, I don't know. He's actually just blindly gonna make cannons now. <laughs> I guess that... Well, he did see some Zerglings. I don't it's know, but here comes late, the Banelings. It's Here they come. It's too late. Here comes the Banelings. He's going to knock down that pylon immediately. A couple Banelings are alive still as well. The Zerglings with the speed upgrade are going to stream in, and he has no fallback plan at all whatsoever. All of his cannons are at his front door. The Zerglings can just run past into the main. The Banelings as well are going to catch those probes if they try and run, and oh my goodness, this is... Completely he's not gone. even using the Bane he doesn't have to. I guess he's waiting. Oh, uh, he does use one Bane on a bunch of probes that were injured. And he's going to use the other one here as well. Uh, oh, he doesn't even... He, he didn't even mineral walk. Didn't even mineral walk the probes. They just died to the Zerglings. The main Nexus is going to go down. And he's rebuilt a uh, pylon so that he can stop any more reinforcements from coming in. But guess what? Leenok didn't even make anymore. He didn't rally Zerglings nope. to this. He just droned and got a hatchery. He did. So this is going very, very badly for Inca. Look at these Banelings. They're going to come in here and try and do some damage. Sentries scare them away. But the Zerglings, once they finish off that Nexus, they're going to be thirsty for some probes to wash down that Nexus meat. They're probably just going to go for the assimilators first off and keep this opponent. He's, he's just going to—he he can't deal with the zerglings. He can't come in his main. He can't retake his nexus. He's invested a lot in cannons. He didn't want to invest into the work count twenty-five to seventeen. Three more drones all the way. The hatchery about two thirds done. 
He's actually continuing to mine gas at this point, so he can do a lot with that. He has a lot of potential. Yeah. Banelings keep scaring those probes. Sentry scaring the Banelings. trying to bait some force seals out. Yep. Smart move. And, but yeah, Inca, I guess, in the meantime, is on this one base. Here come the Zerglings. Oh, he's going to try and trap the sentries. The probes are... Oh, not as many go down as I expected. But still, the worker count now 29 to 17. Yep. In total, workers killed 18. And Leenok on two bases as well. Might even get a third pretty soon. Leenok is floating a lot of minerals right now. I wouldn't be surprised if he put down at least a macro hatchery right quick here and just powers up off those three hatches for a big mid-game attack. There's the Roach Warren going down. Maybe he's just going to two-base it. I don't know. Leenok, I feel like he's more of a macro-oriented player. He likes to be in a macro situation. I feel like he'd be more comfortable on a three-base thing, but... He's also a player that you never know what he's going to do. He also does two-base strategies, so... I just think at this point he's so ahead oh, that he will just go heavy roach. Mutas, maybe, also. Yeah, he, he can do mutas. He can do anything because he's got the game controlled. Yeah. He can just rally roaches until his opponent dies. He can take a third. He can He go. can do a jig. He can do a jig. He can also do two-base ultras. He can he scare his opponent to go on Guardian Shield. So <laughs> what the hell? He tried to... He's like, oh no, no, Lord, put up a shield! He was trying to make his gates into warp gate. He pressed G. Oh, okay, you're right. Good call. At least he didn't do, you know, where you hold down G to do that, and then you activate Guardian oh, Shield ten times. Oh, that would have been bad. I've seen that before. Oh, oh, that must be painful to watch. Yeah, it's pretty painful. It's I'm pretty glad painful I haven't experience. had to see that. <laughs> but yeah, he put down four gases as soon as his lair started. I'm probably We're probably going to see a Spire, I would imagine. Yeah, or, or as soon as this flare finishes, or potentially roach upgrades, but I, I uh, think you're right. You're right. It, it's hard to say, and yeah, there. Oh, infestation pit. pit. Okay. I mean, it's actually. I mean, he can literally do anything. You're he right. can like be rushing to two base ultras right now if he wants to. <laughs> he's he's got uh, the sky as the limit, man. I don't know. I think he'd probably go about beyond the sky if he wanted to be completely honest. Well, he could go to the moon. Let's I don't see. know about going to Saturn, though. That might be he too far. He is at only 52 drones, but it's more than double what Inca has in <laughs> Only probes. 52 drones. <laughs> well, like, I guess... Take, oh, never mind. If you take 25 harvesters, which is Inca's harvester count, and reverse that, you get 52. Oh, hey, there we go. <laughs> He's continuing to check with Zerglings uh, for anything out of the ordinary. He wants to see his opponent's composition. He can't see whether or not a Nexus has been remade on the main base. He's got spines up and roaches, and infestors will be out very soon. He does see there is a four pounds, so he's like, oh, okay, you're going to attack me here, that's fine. I don't have a third base, I have roaches, I'm about to have roach speed. You can't kill me, it's totally fine. Pretty much. And Overlord's going to go down here, over there. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's trying to put on a little bit of pressure here, but... Yeah, there's no way he's going to do anything. Those three spines are a nice, good wall to deal with anything. The roaches are going to be more than enough to deal with those. And he actually is giving chase with those roaches. No, never mind. I thought he was going to chase with the roaches. He uh, takes out the pile and he has seen the Nexus now with his Overseer, so he knows he actually has the ability to chase if he wants to. He's like, oh, okay, so you aren't going to stick with one base. <clears throat> A Stargate going down now that he cannot really afford to use very well, but he's going to try. Three Infestors well, on the way, which will have the energy upgrade. Yeah. He's actually going to continue to pressure here. He can actually lose all of his roaches and trade and still be fine, as long as he kills some sentries. I think he, I think he's just... He's worried about these roaches, and he's like, all right, well, if I can get one Void Ray out, I might survive. But I don't know if it's going to happen. Uh, infestors are on the way. He's only making a few Infestors. I'm, uh, well, I guess he doesn't have the gas for much else. A little bit surprised by that. But yeah, Inca now expanding to his main, making that Void Ray which has been spotted by the Overseer. And there, now we have Leenok taking a third base. Yep, Hydra Den going down. Uh, second, Stargate. That's a Whoa. second Stargate. That's a second Stargate. <laughs> You're uh, right, that second Stargate is a second Stargate. Well, and is Leenok <laughs> is getting a Hydralist Den already because he just keeps running that overseer and he sees everything Inca does. Let's talk about let's talk about the timing of the Stargates. 14 minutes, okay. He has been spotted by the overseer, by the way. Let's note that. Uh, as well. An overseer. Um 
The yeah, thing is, if you... As fast as he's gonna drop some changes, it's kinda cute. Uh, if you have a Stargate at a very quick timing, like a very fast double Stargate, like you did a Fortress Span, you didn't have to deal with Banelings or anything crazy, and you had double Stargate, your opponent can half of the time, or maybe maybe a third to half the time, defend it completely fine, even unscouted. Now, now, what? 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 Are those... Are those, those two more Stargates? Those are two more Stargates. <laughs> you know why? He canceled the oh, second Oh, he canceled Stargate, one. Okay. But the Overseer but also saw the cancel. Leenok already has Hydras and Investors. Yeah, but even beyond this, even beyond this, I don't understand why you thought this was a good idea. Now he's going to see the Hydras and be like, ah, uh, uh, does he cancel now again? He's clicking on him. He's considered it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, nope. He it's just, just so late just in the game, why would he key. try to do this? It's like, doesn't make sense no matter what tech his opponent goes, it's too late! The timing has been missed. I mean, the game was basically over for a long time, but to go for a, a random choice to pick this one of all of all things is just absurd. I don't even understand. <laughs> well, I mean, uh... I'm sorry guys, I'm just, I'm a little bit shocked <laughs> and baffled right now. It was like, Leenok can do whatever he wants, right? So Leenok picked... And Hydra, like, Hydra too, Infester. I can do whatever I want. Hydra right? Infester, and Inka's like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do what that counters. <laughs> I'm gonna go mass target units instead of like trying to go Colossus or something that might actually have a chance of working or at least defending for a short amount of time. And he's just having a quad force field off his ramp right now. He's got so many sentries he can actually do this for quite some time, but yeah. Leonok doesn't care, he's taking well, he a fourth need, base. He would need um 12 to continue that all the time, and he only has eight, I think. So, oh, but here he gets a few in. He's gonna trap uh, a few units. The cannon's doing some damage. I can't believe those investors are dials. Slick, slick micro there. Throwing him underneath the force. <laughs> Look at that infested Terran. Just got chucked up there. Die. He's got these. Uh, oh no, infested Terrans and a fungal on those sentries. All the sentries are gonna die, and now. Now he sends in... Well, there are a lot of Phoenixes here Phoenixes. now, and he didn't bring that many Hydras. He just has to avoid the Invested Terrans. He's actually going to clean up everything here with the Phoenixes. Wow. They have plus one. Yeah, he actually... You know what he was doing is he was baiting, waiting for those Investors to use all their energy so that he could actually use the Phoenixes, and that was actually somewhat clever. But, the thing but is there's so many Invested Terrans <laughs> that... The, yeah. The Invested Terrans do die, and so he will clean this up, but he's just lost so much in the process. Yep, is he going to save the Nexus? Forced to lift Zerglings to try and save it. And, oh, barely! Oh my god. Oh no, that last Roach! Oh. Drop the Roach for a second, drop the ball, and Phoenixes fly over Hydras. That's not a good, good move for the Phoenixes. No. Mass Hydras are going to clean those up, GG. <laughs> Finally! What did I just watch? Inca spending, uh, what was the timer on that game? I'm trying to find out, but yeah, so that was a 19 minute game, and Inca spent about 12 or 13 of those minutes with half the supply of Leenok. <laughs> Leenok's like, finally, alright. And so. that means Leenok is at 2 and 0 in this group, man, which is. Really good for That's him. That's a good start. He's already the favorite of the group anyways. I have to say, Inka's mindset can be a little bit shaken up after that game. That was that was actually pretty embarrassing. That was, that was embarrassing. I mean, here's the thing. The probe control made me actually, like, you guys can't tell, but there's, like, less less uh, brain cells in my brain now than before. I, like, pulled out some hair. I... I I gotta he give did him click on the I gas, though. Give That's why he made the cans. Now that I think about it, he made the cans okay. so he clicked on the gas. But okay. yeah. still, I mean, I he could have scouted so many different ways. Either way, he, the result is the same. He still sees the gas and I, he makes the cannons. I got to give him a little credit for trying to stay off the creep, and he was avoiding the queen so he could try and see if he get more information Yeah, but if it. he's going to do that, he should just go around the top left side. He's like, no, I'm just going to go and Yeah, well... <laughs> <laughs> trying to throw him a bone here since usually I don't throw bones, usually man. I bag on Inca and I'm trying to like get some Inca karma going back the other way. Hey, we're gonna take a five minute break, guys. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in just a few. Ace and Ganji, don't go anywhere.